Hi, I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to finish up our race suit shopping guide with the $1,500 and over price point. If you're lucky enough to be able to shop in this price category, there are some amazing race suits available. This one represents the most technical offerings there are out there for race suits, period. High-end materials like Kangaroo or the 1.5 millimeter thick Japanese cowhide from RS Tai Chi. We even have one race suit that has an airbag in it. We'll finish the review with that one. Remember, the concept here is simple. We're going to try and show you the subtle differences between each suit. You're going to get a quick feature, quick benefit. One of the most important things we can do is each one of these race suits is a size 50 euro with the exception of one, unfortunately. And we're using the same model for every suit. He is six feet tall, 160 pounds with just an athletic build. So it's going to give you a real good idea how each one of these suits fits as compared to the next. Okay, we're going to open up with the Dainé's Aero Evo race suit. 1549 is the price point. Once again, we've got Eric here, STT staffer. We're an expert racer, right? How tall are you, bud? I'm six foot and I weigh 160 pounds. We've got him in a size 50 euro in the Aero Evo. If you want to give him a nice 360, underneath this suit, he is wearing a Knox Aegis 8 plate back protector. How would you rate the fit on this one? It's a good fit. Uh, I like that it has a flap in the front. You can walk around in the pits all day and not have to worry about messing up your leathers. The double zipper. Yeah. And the Dainese is the only one that still offers a suit with a double zipper. The secret to zipping these up is you have to bend over at the waist and then zip up. That is the way you get the suit on and off. I would, I would say the fit on this is almost lands in between a race and a comfort fit doesn't it yeah i mean it's not too big and it's i mean this is just right super comfortable what they were shooting for with the arrow evil was to have a suit with a ton of motion panels a ton of stretch fabric right so that it moved really well with your body you'll see all the s1 stretch fabric spans up to the neck here the shoulder intersects this large leather stretch panel right you'll go back to the camera Huge leather motion panels here all around the back, right? We've even got another secondary motion panel right here above this. So when you get in the race tuck, the suit is not fighting you. Get down into the lower legs, right? S1 stretch fabric. They've also got a subtle motion panel built there. Shoulder sliders. Perforation here. More motion. All these ribs you see are motion panels that are going to help this suit move with your body localized perforation of course the airflow you're going to get there from the s1 fabric in the legs and then these really unique stretch panels all throughout the knee and the upper leg the theme behind this was to move like a second skin yeah literally. i mean it's very flexible and i can get in any position without any discomfort exactly okay next up is the Dainese trickster evo kangaroo at 1899 still size 50 euro 40 us Race fit or comfort fit? It's definitely going to be a race fit. It's a little on the tight side, but that's just where I want it for the racetrack. The Trickster Evo is designed a lot like the Aero Evo in that it has a ton of stretch panels in it, a ton of this S1 stretch fabric. And you blend that with a kangaroo, their goal was to bring a race suit that felt like pajamas. Yeah, like you're wearing nothing. And do you think they landed on that? Yeah, they're spot on. I mean, it feels light. I can move around and it's not constricting me. Exactly. One of the drawbacks to the Kangaroo can be its multi-crash durability isn't as high as some of the, the leather stuff can be, but the trade-off is the comfort is just yeah. amazing. It's like right? wearing a Snuggie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nice. I don't know. I don't have a Snuggie. <laughs> Lots of perforation up front on this. I like that more so than the Arrow Evil. Tons of S1 fabric up into the neck, through the whole arm, you can see it intersects same huge motion panels that span around the back in the shape of a U. They're bringing that S1 fabric almost up into the chest too from the legs. Once again, helps with mobility. That is the theme behind this suit. Motion panel in the elbow, huge panel of kangaroo here. It's really expensive. Localized perf here. Titanium slider on the shoulder, CE armor here, here, knees. Once again, we'll add Dainese, which is a very unique knee panel, lots of protection there. I love that. Huge motion panel here in the knee. 
you go ahead and turn sideways, motion panels here in the thigh, you can see that he's actually had to utilize those that stretch those ribs out, and that's what they're there for, to help the suit move on the rider's body. Back to the camera. Large fabric panel here back of the neck makes it really easy to get into a race tuck. The suit does not fight you at all. Full-size race hump, can accept a water bag if you want to use that. Huge motion panel, back of the shoulder, U-shaped. Look at the size of this one here. So when he gets in a tuck, no fighting from the suit. More of these strategically placed secondary motion panels there. S1 fabric all throughout the back of the legs. Of course, kangaroo in the seat. Back to front. The big advantage of this is very lightweight, feels like a pair of pajamas. You lose just a little bit of crash durability over multiple crashes, but honestly, in my opinion, it's worth the trade-off. This is a suit I actually wanted to have to ride in in 2013, but they didn't have one produced in my size, unfortunately. This is the Dyna's Trickster Evo Kangaroo. Okay, next up is the Dyna's Team Kangaroo one-piece suit, 1999. Unfortunately, the size that we have Eric in here it's one size too big. Yeah, this is just the wrong size for me. I would definitely go a size down at least. This is a 54 euro in the Team Kangaroo, but we still wanted to include this in here. This is a really exclusive full kangaroo one piece. Super light. Right, this is a great material. It even feels, feels nice. It feels really nice. Remember, with the kangaroo, they can use much thinner hide. So the end result is a lighter suit. It's abrasion and tear resistance is still gonna be on par with leather that is thicker. What we do find with a kangaroo suit sometimes is they may not have that multiple, multiple crash durability that we'd see with some of the more robust designs, but what you pick up is a very high level of comfort and that extreme lightweight. Features and benefits on this. Tons of perforation on this if you wanna zoom in, Tyler. Top to bottom. This is the most perforated suit in the Dynase catalog. Titanium shoulder sliders, CE armor underneath. Titanium elbow sliders. Come down to the knee. Titanium knee sliders there as well. Huge panels of kangaroo, okay? You, big pre-curve in this suit. That's why they're not using a motion panel here in the elbow. They don't have to because it was built into the pattern. This suit is meant to be in this position only. Back of the suit, huge motion panels here done in that U-shape. That's a very efficient way to do it. Comfort fabric here at the back of the neck. And you'll note, even in the calves, they are using the kangaroo leather motion panel. This suit is right for somebody who is looking for something that is just super, super light wearing, tons of perforation with a very race-oriented design. Okay, now we're gonna get into the RS Tai Chi high-end GP Max series. I say series because we have multiple suits within this range. Each one of them share a couple of characteristics that we think are extremely important and really add to the high level of protection and quality we find with these suits. Number one is 1.5 millimeter thick Japanese cowhide. These cows are raised specially for their hide. The leather is screen printed with color rather than being drum dyed. Drum dye can have a negative impact on the abrasion and tear resistance. Okay, so this stuff is super strong, super supple. Number two, these suits are sewn in Japan by craftsmen with tons of experience. Remember, in Japan still, they're making the Arai helmets and the Shoei helmets, and I'm sure that all you are, who are watching this video are very familiar with the quality and performance of those helmets. These suits are on that same plane, for sure. Let's focus on the one that Eric has on right now. This is the GP Max R101, $23.99. You're at a 50 euro, how does it fit? Oh, this is definitely gonna be a race fit for me. It's just perfect, I love it. Hard to argue with that. Tons of perforation, that's what Tai Chi is famous for. Tons of perf, they get it. Road racing, it's very athletic, you get hot. The more holes that are poked in the suit. Yeah, I mean, perforation is, is everywhere on the suit, on the arms, you know, the chest, even the legs. And the hide is so strong that it really doesn't degrade from the protection, which is the secret. Tons of perf, top to bottom. We've got the Tai Chi shoulder slider and air vent, right? Protects a critical seam there. 
CE certified armor with large race style profile, elbows, forearms, shoulders, motion panel in the elbow, CE armor in the knee and shin area as well. Very strategic and extensive use of shoulder cap protect, the high end stretch fabric, Kevlar based. Each one of the suits in this range too, it's gonna to have a slightly different pattern. You can see that from the photos online. We're not gonna show you each one because they are all really close. Varying price points, the patterns vary just a little bit, and some of the color that's used, the screen printing will vary as well. Some have patterns, some have logos printed on, some are more plain like the R101 we're showing you now. I wanna show them the back of the suit. Race hump perforated on the top to drive air and you can see the large stretch panels used. Tai Chi is also known for using a real wide stretch panel here in the back of the suit so when you get into a race tuck the suit does not fight you. The perforation scheme is even carried over to the lower legs. I'm going to show you another example here. This is going to be the R073 suit. This one sells for $21.99. You can see the difference here. Screen printed graphics huge panels of leather but at the end of the day the construction of this suit and the pattern is really not too far off of what Eric is wearing right now. You've got the R073, the R101, we're gonna have the R072 that slots in at 2549. It's gonna look a little more like this. It's gonna have a Tai Chi logo printed down the left side of the suit. And then we have the R102, which is going to come in at $19.99. Look to the site for each one of these suits. At the end of the day, the availability on these two, it really varies by color. They by don't, size even, yeah. Yeah, they don't make a ton of these. So oftentimes the Tai Chi suit that a rider ends up with is the one that was there. Right. They're that good. You know, if you have to settle a little bit on pattern or color, Trust me when I tell you it's worth it. I've had multiple Tai Chi suits. They crash like battle tanks and they wear like pajamas. All right, now we get into the Alpine Stars racing replica suit, $28.99. We've got Eric in a size 50 euro. How would you rate the fit, bud? This is definitely gonna be a comfort fit for me. It's got a lot of stretch panels, which makes it really easy to wear. We found this suit runs a little bit different, right? Like for Eric, if he wanted to get into a race fit, which is normally what you would wear. Right, I would probably gonna, go a size down for, for yeah, this we're suit. We're gonna take you down one size. Yeah. And a lot of that has to do with just the pattern of this suit. A lot of the magic behind this suit is really in that pattern. Nobody has more sponsored riders than Alpine Stars, nobody. And they are always learning, they're always pushing further forward with research and development and you can see that in the refinements of this high-end road race suit. Segmented perforation, right? They found that that left the leather stronger. While we're on the topic of leather, this stuff is on a different level. It's like the Tai Chi level. I don't know exactly where this hide comes from or what the treatments to it are, but from previous experience with one of these and some other friends and, and just research that we've done with it, these suits are tremendously durable. I've got one with a couple of crashes on it. You can barely tell. A friend of mine, Justin, north of 10 crashes on one suit. He finally retired it just because it looked tattered. It was still structurally intact. So this, along with those Tai Chi high-end suits, they separate themselves from the rest of the pack. CE certified armor in the shoulders. Big shoulder slider external. CE certified armor in the elbow and forearm. We've got an elbow slider external and that really helps to cover a real sensitive spot here on the form more durability and it helps to initiate a slide large panels of leather here you can clearly see that cut in a heavy pre-curve this suit was designed for racing you come down to the knee CE certified protector in the knee and shin exterior protector here really bolsters that protection we have a grip panel here that is built onto the inside of that knee cup that really helps to grip the bike so you don't have to squeeze as hard with your legs. Innovative motion panel here in the knee that spans across the knee all the way down in the calf on both sides. That thing is huge and it is sewn in the pre-curve position. It's really meant to be in the riding crouch. 
innovative stretch panels here underneath the shoulder. And if you'll rotate back to the camera, you can see that it intersects with this huge motion panel here that comes down from the neck all the way down the side of the suit, right where it transitions into the large motion panel here on the waist. If you want to pan down a little bit, Tyler, you can also see here in the cap the back side of that huge leather motion panel. All these motion panels are also perforated. Full race hump, reflective panel on the inside. This suit would accept the Tech airbag if you could get one here in the States, which you can't but it does have the access panel here on the top of the suit. We've got a nice mesh fabric here at the base of the neck, allows the rider to get in the tuck and also keeps you cooler in a real hot spot. Just to tie this suit up, it is literally on that level of best of the best, better than almost all the rest, because like I said, you bring this and those big dog Thai cheese together, you have some really special race suits. All right, we're going to finish this up with what I feel right now is the best suit you can buy here in the U.S. This is the RS Tai Chi GP Max T-Wraps R073 airbag suit. And for me, the airbag is the game changer. We'll explain why. Sizing, got you in a 50. How does it fit? This is a perfect fit. This is exactly what I would wear. Hope to be in this suit next year. How bad do you want that I suit? I love this suit, man. I know you do. And... For a road racer or a track day rider, the most common injury is what? Collarbone breaks. Collarbone break. We both have broken a collarbone, and it is most often done when you fall and your helmet gets pushed over, the chin bar of your helmet pushes into your collarbone, crack goes your collarbone. At the end of the day, it's uncomfortable, and it keeps you out of riding, and you can miss some work. If you are a high-end suit shopper, you've got the dough to be up in this category, in my humble opinion, for the $31.99 this sells for. If you're going to reach back, reach back a little bit more, and you can have the piece of protection that could very likely prevent that most common injury. And we're going to actually discharge this bag here in a second, and we're going to show you how and why we feel that way. This suit also comes with a suit bag, uh, a back protector. It's not a CE certified piece, but it is included with it, right? And then of course it comes with the tether to hook this to your motorcycle. We have a full review on this airbag system that shows you how to dial it in. It comes with a DVD and instructions and stuff. At the end of the day, it's really simple to do the way the system is driven. It's all through the race hump right here, right? You come off the bike, you're crashing, you separate, it pulls, it's cold gas driven, it inflates a two chamber airbag that grabs your helmet and basically turns you into like a human lawn dart, okay? Keeps the helmet in place to prevent a neck injury, can help prevent that broken collarbone. Beyond that, we have that 1.5 millimeter Japanese cowhide, all screen printed here, right? Shoulder slider, CE armor, shoulders, elbows, forearms, knees, epic levels of perforation with this Tai Chi suit. You guys know how we feel about these. It's these and the Alpine Stars Racing Replica. They live all by themselves on their own secret little planet. Go ahead and let's give them a back view here. Just cover that real quick. Large motion panels here in the shoulder intersect with the chest. Large motion panel down here in the waist. Tai Chi does that on purpose so that you can get in and out of the race tuck easily high-end Keppertech stretch fabric, tons of perforation down here in the back of the calf area. And if you want to go ahead and face the camera, the airbag is underneath this apron here. You can, you can obviously see that there's something underneath there, right? It's all held down with snaps and Velcro. This is designed to pop off and be removed by the rider on the track. If you want to do that, you want to pick the bike up and go. Right? But the suit can even be used without the airbag, and as long as the airbag wasn't damaged in the wreck or the discharge, it can be used again and repacked. We also show you how to do that in an earlier video. So, are you ready, buddy? I'm ready. And let's go. Cold gas driven. You can see it doesn't take a lot of time for it to go off, and it clearly just grabs his helmet and holds it in place like so, so it cannot contact that collarbone. It's padded. It takes a little while to deflate on its own. Some tools in here so you're easily able to repack it. The recharging cylinders, a little CO2, they're somewhere, what are they, like $40 roughly. 
If you buy one of these suits, it's not a bad idea to order a separate cylinder because you know it's not impossible. You have just a tiny get off at the track, it goes off, you want to repack it and still use it. Or you might get tired, get off your motorcycle, go to throw it on the stand and forget about the fact you had your airbag hooked up. It does take a little energy to discharge it, so I think accidental discharges are probably not super likely, but I would be prepared for that. This is it. These are the high-end race suits. We ended with what I feel is the best of the best. As always, we are here to answer any questions, comments. There is nobody better suited to get you fitted in your next race suit than the team at sportbiketrackgear.com.